Hi, I'm Terry from Wakanda Boats here in Glen Elder, Kansas in Republican City, Nebraska. And we're going to do a quick walkthrough here of the 2019 Lund 1875 Impact XS. Uh, to give you a quick overview on this model, the Impact lineup has always been one of our top sellers, mainly because it fits a lot of people's budget and it's really just a lot of, a lot of boat for the dollar you spend. Uh, so we're going to have lots of these in stock in various colors. This one being shown in the Lund Red. Uh, for those that don't know, they redesigned the Impact Series just last year and they made a lot of big improvements. They made the boat two inches wider and also two inches longer. Uh, so the boat now is 18 feet, 11 inches in overall length. So it really, it really should be considered a, a 19 foot boat. Uh, it's also 96 inches wide. Uh, so it's just a, it's a very, it's got a lot of room in it. It's a very popular size. Uh, and so all of ours are gonna be set up with the same options. I'll kind of go through the options that we have ours in stock with as I go through the video here. Uh, starting with the trailer, uh, they put a very nice Shorelander trailer under them, a bunk trailer. It's a four bunk system designed to fit directly to this boat's hull. Uh, it couldn't be any easier to load. It loads really nice with this trailer. Uh, the load guides are optional, which all ours are going to have in stock. We add the load guides. It really helps for loading the boat in the wind. Uh, the spare tire is also, also optional. Ours are gonna, going to include the spare tire. One major change they made for 2019 was the, on the trailers here where it used to be the standard trailer was just a regular gloss painted frame. Now they added what's called the Lund Armor paint job on the trailer. Uh, so that's a lot more gravel pit resistant. It resembles kind of like a bed liner type of a texture. Uh, so that's a huge improvement, which is standard now for 2019 on all these impact trailers. Um, and like all the Lund trailers, you have the LED lights. Uh, you have the retractable tie down. They stay bolted onto the trailer. Very handy, you don't lose them, you don't forget them. All of ours in this model are gonna be set up with the 154 stroke. Uh, we've had very good luck with this motor. It performs very well. Uh, plenty of power to pull a skier or a tuber, whatever you wanna do. Uh, on the XS model impact also, we do upgrade the steering to what's called hydraulic steering. So they will have that upgrade as well. Uh, here in the back, you can see the boarding platform. On the XS model, it gives you this step or this cover above the ladder too, so you're not having to step on the ladder, which is a nice feature to the to the XS. Uh, and you can see it's just a nice ladder as well. It's a four-step ladder telescoping. Nice and easy way to get in and out of the boat. I think that basically covers the outside. I'll get to the inside and start going over the interior layout. So now that we're inside the boat, I'll kind of start at the back and work forward. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to explain was the difference in the two impact models Lund offers. They offer what's called an impact sport, and they also offer what's called the impact XS, which this one being the XS, the biggest difference here in the back. You can see you got a large casting deck here in the back. Uh, what the XS gives you though is these flip up jump seats. Okay, very nice seats to have. If you've got extra people and you're doing recreational things, tubing or skiing, it's a comfortable seat to, if you're just going from point A to point B. Just two extra seats that aren't taking up any extra space in the boat. So it's a nice feature there. You get storage underneath them as well. A lot of storage are here on this port side. And then over on the starboard side underneath that seat is where your cranking battery stows away. Still though, a lot of room around that as you can see. Uh, also in between the two seats you have a very large live well. Very good sized live well. There's an LED light in there. So you have a nice casting deck when everything's flipped up, flipped down. Uh, one of these pedestal seats, of course, will go up here in the back to, to cast off or fish off the back. Uh, another difference on the XS versus the other, uh, the Impact Sport, is the way they design their side storage. Uh, you can see on the XS model, you have a lockable compartment here. There's a hydraulic ram here holding the door open for you, uh, and so you just have this comp compartment here. It holds two two extra rods you can put here in the port side up to eight and a half feet long. There's also a spot there for your anchor light as well to stow away. And then you just have a lot of extra storage up underneath here too. So you can put a lot of stuff here in this, in this port side. And again, that's a lockable compartment. And over on the starboard side, you have some more open storage below. It, below. Uh, another, another option that ours are gonna be set up with is what's called the on-the-fly rod storage. That's optional that we put with all of ours. It's inexpensive and it's well worth it. You get these two extra rod tubes on both sides of the boat, starboard and port. 
and these uh, rod saver straps as well. So when you're going from point A to point B, you can poke your rods in those tubes and strap them down and they're not on the floor to where they're going to get stepped on. And uh, it's just a, it's a very convenient way to put them when you're, when you're in a hurry moving from, from A to B and you don't have to put them clear back away in your main rod box. So all ours are going to have that option. Uh, you can see the floor is a vinyl main floor. It seems like that's the most popular way that people have always ordered it. So all ours are going to be set up with this vinyl main floor. Uh, it makes cleaning up the boat a lot easier. And uh, anybody that did want to add that snap out carpet, it could easily be done. Now that we get to the dash, uh, not a lot to change here. All your dash or all your gauges are nice and front and center. Uh, your switches are right here. Everything ran off the master power. Easy to get to. Uh, here's where your fish finder will mount on this platform. With the use of a RAM or a Cisco or a lot of them electronics mounts you can put whatever size of screen you want on this as well. There's plenty of room there to put up to a 12 inch, possibly even bigger, uh, whatever, you, whatever size of uh, fish finder you want to put there, it can be done. Uh, all of ours are gonna be in stock with, with what Lung calls the comfort package. And what you, get, what you get with the comfort package is the tilt steering, okay? And then the, stick, the kicker stereo comes with that as well. Very nice stereo system, AM, FM radio. You can Bluetooth it to your phone as well to play music. There's also a, a USB port here. Uh, so that's part of that package. The other part of that package is uh, the Air Ride pedestal upgrade. And that's a, that's a big upgrade I would, I would never have without it for a lot of reasons. It's a more comfortable ride in rough water. Uh, you get some height adjustment on the seat. And what people don't realize too a lot of times is if when you're wanting to move one seat to a, from one base to another, with the Air Ride upgrade, it's way easier. You just lift it straight up and you can move it to a different base. Do you want to move this to the bow of the boat or to the back of the boat? It's very easy to do. Uh, or if it was the standard fixed, fixed pedestal, it's not near as convenient. You have to get down on the floor and push a button and it's just, it's just not near as convenient. So the air ride upgrade is, a, in my opinion, a very important upgrade. Another thing this has is the under console drawers. Uh, they're lockable compartments, also very handy. You have it under the driver's side and the passenger side. And, and it's really just, you don't have to get down on your hands and knees and dig for stuff. All your storage will come right out to you. You can keep it a lot more organized that way. They're both lockable compartments. You have one under the passenger and the driver. Uh, the glove box, lockable compartment as well. Nice sized glove box. Lots of storage in this port side here. You have another split level compartment under here, open storage, but it's really just a big cavity here to put a lot of things. And you have another little cubby over here. So just a lot of storage in the port side. Uh, your main rod box is here in the center. That's another big improvement they made is they extend, they redesigned this to where you could put a little longer rods now. A lockable rod box uh, holds up to 12 rods. Eight foot, I believe is what fits on the bottom row there. Uh, they, this is all a kind of a nice design too, so you can get that bottom row out a lot easier. Uh, very well thought out rod storage. <clears throat> and this panel here is where your trolling motor battery is still away. And you can put 24 or 36 volt, uh, what, whatever you want to do there. Uh, the battery, that's, a, that's where you want the batteries in the boat for the weight distribution. It helps plane the boat out. It just handles, handles the boat a lot better where you're putting your, when you put those in the center. The LED lights they added to these a year or so ago, also a big improvement. There's an LED light strip here with your interior light switch on the dash on both sides. And so that really lights up the boat. There's another one up on the bow. So that's a, that was an improvement they also made. Up here on the front of the boat, you got a lot of space here, a nice size casting deck. Of course, one of the fishing seats will come up to the bow to cast off of. Uh, you get a second live well on this model in front of the driver's seat. Nice size live well. Uh, a good size storage compartment above that. Over here is your largest compartment. A very nice size compartment up on the bow on the port side. You can see this here is the travel cover. All of ours are gonna include the travel cover already. Another inexpensive option that we're putting with this is what's called the bow cargo netting as well. Uh, it's very handy to have if you're just stuff to keep stuff from blowing out of the boat that you're using consistently. You don't have to put clear back away. More storage up here in the front as well. I think that pretty well covers the Impact XS. 
Uh, if I missed anything, please give us a call or email us. Our phone numbers and emails are on our website, wakandaboats.com. I'm Terry here in Kansas, and Travis is up in Nebraska, Republican City, Nebraska. And thanks for watching.